All right, guys. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so my fish order arrived. I, I tried a new place. It's called AquariumFishSale.com. So this is my big box, and I'm going to open this up. Hopefully all my fish are alive, healthy, but check these guys out. It's called AquariumFishSale.com. They have some really unique fish and really great customer service. I spent a lot of time on the phone talking to one of the representatives about some fish that I wanted um, that I wasn't able to find here locally where I live because I don't live in a big city, but yeah um, we do get fish but just not some of these rare types so I ordered them and these guys had great prices they were super nice I want to just say thank you to every you know to everyone that did this um, they gave me a really great deal on some really cool fish that you're about to see so hope you guys enjoy let's get to the unboxing Looks packaged really well. It's a big styrofoam. And what do we got here? Well, this is really exciting, right? This is my first invisible fish. That's what this was called, an invisible fish. There's, there's nothing in there. But no, that was for packaging, I'm sure. All right. So first one I'll show you. Te technically, oh, not a fish, but we have a red lobster. looks really nice. I'm going to start these guys temperature acclimating. My tank's over here. So, there's that one. What else we got here? Alright. So this guy is going in my new new tank. This is a red tail catfish. And they get huge. I won't be able to keep him forever, but I'll be I'll be able to keep him for a while. Because they get really big. I have a place that is gonna take him once he gets full grown because they do get massive. So anybody looking to get one of these just make sure you have a good home for them. Um, if I didn't have a place to take him to I wouldn't have bought him but I wanted one and I'll get to watch him grow up and say goodbye to him someday and I'll still be able to go visit him once I give him to this company that has a huge setup for him to live as an adult but my 120 will be okay for a little bit which can get a better picture of him Here we go. Super cool fish. This is a freshwater fish. Alright, on to the next one. Let's see if I can get a better picture of that. It's just trying to show you guys. And they are very smart with their packaging because they don't fill their uh, bags up most of the way with water. They put mostly air, which is very smart. So we're really happy to see that. Here he is. So they really know what they're doing. I'm really happy to see that. That's great. That's great shipping because places that fill their bags up with mostly water, the fish will suffocate if they're shipped and they're left in there long enough. Fish need a little amount of water, mostly air. Very smart. Hi, buddy. Look at that. Very cool. All right, moving on. I'll save the best for last. Well, not the best, but the one that was the rarest. All right, look at this guy. Is he, how's he doing in here? Oh, there he is. Porcupine puffer. He is a saltwater puffer, and he is pretty decent sized. Should get a sun. I'm sorry if the if we can't see it. I will get footage of these guys in the tanks, but. Doing good. He looks, he looks pretty good. I'm trying to see him right now. There we go. 
And I'm excited to get him out. This is a porcupine puffer. Cool. And the one that I really, really wanted that I could not find anywhere where I live was this one. Look at this, guys. I got a longhorn cowfish. Look at that. Look how cool that is. I will definitely have a species spotlight coming on him. And I will have more footage of him in the tank. So, he is a saltwater fish, and he's looking good. He's a small guy, though. I lost him in the back. He's small. So, I will get more footage soon, guys. Other than that, they all showed up alive and healthy, so let's go put them in the tank. Alright guys, so here is the porcupine puffer. Look at him, he's so beautiful. I love his colors. Just an amazing fish. He did puff up a little bit, but um, he's been through a lot. But he went back down, so that's good. Uh, puffer puffing up is not a good thing. Um, but he, I guess, you know, he's probably just really, he went through a lot, so he's stressed out going through shipping, but the good thing is, is he looks healthy, and he is not puffed up anymore, so I'm stoked to have this guy, just absolutely beautiful fish. This has to be one of my favorite fish of all time. How could you resist those eyes? And that smile, just so cool. I gotta get to feeding these guys, but... I also wanted to show you the longhorn cowfish. Look at that. He's swimming all over the place. It's hard for me to focus. He's so happy. He's doing great. Looks healthy. He's acting healthy. So excited to have him. It's just amazing to look at, guys. Cowfish are just so unique in the shape of their bodies. And yes, people say they give off toxins if they get stressed out, but I've also heard that's a myth, so yeah, I'm just going to do my best and let you guys know how it works out, but he is worth it to me. I mean, just absolutely stunning fish. I love him. This is really one of the fish I always wanted, so it's such a blessing to get to have it, so yeah.